I'm going to proceed with the product's price configuration. My case is this. The base price depends on the area calculated by multiplication of width and height. As you remember, I store area in one of the non-option variables. I'm going to use the formula conditional logic to achieve what I'm trying to achieve. First, enable it. Second, let's add some rules. The first rule will be if area is greater or equal to 0.001 and less or equal to 5.999 then my formula is area multiplied by 190. The second rule is similar just a different range and base price equals to 175 and the third rule represents the case when the area is greater or equal than 15 and the base price would be 160. Let's check how it works. Two millimeters width and 100 millimeters height give too small area. Uh, that's why the price equals to zero. I should have set some minimum price for the product. works great. I always say that the same thing can be configured in different ways. Let's try an option variable matrix functionality. I like this functionality. It is the same as table based prices. Let's create base price non option variable, then turn on matrix for it. In this case, both matrix variables are area and I need two columns only. The first column is for area ranges, the second one is for the prices. It works like this, whenever the area value within a certain range, the non-option variable base price takes the price defined in the table next to the targeted area. Let's disable formula conditional logic and adjust our main formula. Let's check how it works. Yeah, it works perfect. Width and height both equal to meters give us uh, 4 square meters area and the base price for this range is 190. 